welcome, thank you for joining my channel. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, I want to show you a quick tour of my home theater system. All right, here we go. Coming into the bonus room. This is probably one of my favorite rooms of this house. The size of this room is 13 by 14. It's not that big, but it's perfect for this setup. In each corner, here we have is bookshelf speakers. And some of you guys asked me, are these speakers wired or wireless? These are wired speakers. And you guys also asked me, how are these wired without wires running along the floor showing? Well, I actually built this house. I was able to look enough to hide the wires behind the wall. And it runs along through the floor joists and back to the main unit. There's another way you guys can hide the wires if you want to do a DIY project is by removing all your baseboards all around to the main unit if you can and then hide the wires behind the baseboards running all along like you might have to break up the drywall to fit the wires in to make a gap and then once that's once you run your wires through you can put back the baseboards back on and that's how you hide the wires is another way here uh, i want to show you guys something really quick of my couch. This couch is pretty sweet. When watching movies, just, just sit back and lay back, enjoy the show. All right, let's check the front now. Mochi wants to say hi. Okay, let's start with the middle. Here we have is the audio video receiver, the center speaker. Soap buffer and a tower speaker, one on each side. Here's the atom speaker. Now, I'll show you my view of what it looks like when I sit down. So, it looks like that running along the wall. Those are acoustic panels. They don't do anything. They're just for looks. It's a working in progress. It makes a good feature wall and also hides the wires to my Atmos speakers. And the TV I have is a 75 inch X90, X900 series. The total cost of this sound system setup is around 2000 American. And the formation of this setup is 5.1.2. Another question that I get asked lots is, how do I know my Adobe Atmos is working on my receiver? On my receiver, the current setting right now I have is Dolby Surround Sound. So let's play a movie with Dolby Atmos on Netflix and this setting will change. If it doesn't change, that means it's not working. We'll play Red Notice. This is a good movie by the way. It has Dolby Atmos. As you can see, this is Dolby Atmos, Dolby Digital Plus, D Atmos. If you guys don't see this, that means it's not properly working. If you want to hear a sample of a movie clip experience, click the link at the top. With this system, the sound of the gaming experience is unreal. It sounds like you were in the game itself. Now I'll play you guys some sound clips. Not sure if my audio device can pick it up, but it sounds 100 times better in person.
sound system sounds so much better with two subwoofers. Two is definitely better than one. Thank you guys for watching this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Peace out until next time. I'm gonna watch a movie, so see you guys later.